Hi guys. This is Cobra Tom. And Venom Lily. And we are doing the SDCC Cobra Missile Command Headquarters. But we've made this into an Iron Grenadier base. And we're going to just be kind of showing a little bit of the features and some of the stuff. And then I will be doing a little bit more showing the pieces and doing some of that stuff. So we, for right now, will just be showing you the outside of this. Okay, so here are the seats on the command missile command center that we used as a um, Iron Grenadier base. I'm just taking the people out and showing you what they look like. They, they come out easily. Yep. And when we were trying to put these together, it took us forever to even figure out how they go. Um, yeah. So, on the back of them, it has... It kind of looks like it's a door, honestly. Yeah, it kind of looks like the X-Men door. On the bottom of them, it looks some, like some screws. Yep. Sides, metal chair. Yeah, that's nice. They... Mm, that looks kind of like a death machine almost, because it looks like it's very hard. Like, the seats look like metal, then like a rubber, metal, rubber, metal. That seems like it would hurt. Yeah, it does. And, like I said earlier, they do go in and come out easily, but a little bit too easy. They Sometimes fall they out. fall out. But the nice thing is, I'll see if I can get in there to show you. There are holes for the feet of the figure, so that's a really nice feature. So, you can put three figures on there. That's really nice. Mine is slightly coming apart. I think it's just due to putting figures on top of it and kind of sitting. But next, I'll do kind of the control panel. Now, as you can see here, mine's slightly coming apart. I need to put some tape or something on it. It's it's pretty good. I mean, I have no complaints, but um, what holds it in there, you can see that here is a tab and here and here is a tab. And those correspond with this one, this one, and then uh, this one. So what's really nice about this is that there's detail all around it. Here's from the side, and uh, gives you really nice, some really nice detail here. Some vents, stuff like that looks really nice. Now here's the side of it. Looks like a dial. Um, this looks like a vent. Computers and stuff get really hot, so I'm guessing that all comes out. Um, now, here is here's the one little side, and you can put a guy in there, and you can pretend. Now, we usually use or have been using these guys. They're not iron grenadier. But we also pretend that Cobra got taken over by Destro. And he sits there and he can control this part and this part. Giving him a range of things that he can be doing. It looks like he is with this on the monitor and stuff. Now he looks like he is... Get in there that well... He looks like he's kind of running the missile. This looks like the launch area. This looks like the missile. 
I could be wrong. You could tell me that that's wrong and it could be. Looks like he's got a Rubik's Cube there. It's not, but it kind of looks like one, if any of you know what a Rubik's Cube is. And this middle guy sits here and it looks like he's got the control of the actual missile itself. He's sitting here, he's in the middle. He could be running this one. Our guys don't really fit on these seats very well. Um, this was made for a 25th anniversary figure set. We not only did not get the figures, but these are vintage ones and they don't, they fit, but not as well as if I had uh, 25th anniversary ones. Now here, I'm not sure what this guy would be controlling. So I don't quite understand what some of this stuff would be. I don't know what this orange dot would even look be like. I'm not even 100% sure if that's the missile that they're showing or not. I know obviously that is. And then on the side, there's there's another monitor. It's very similar to the other side. There's a monitor you can be watching and pressing buttons and um, another vent and stuff like that. So I assume that he kind of goes and is able to, when he's sitting here, he can press the buttons over here. So that that's that's it for this for this little part here. Okay, come on. Here you can see the bait the platform here and all the cool painting that's done. Um up in the corner ish there is the guards that I think are actual uh, painted, well, printed G.I. Joe or Cobras, right? No? Yeah, I think so. And next to the five there, if you can see this here, let me point that there. there. Next to that, I don't know what that red thing is. It looks like a button that launches the... It could be a button that would launch the car up and down. So you'd put up, um, I'm trying to find one here that, okay, so we, we take a figure and there's like extra space. So you could actually have her stand there and make it look like, um, she's actually pressing the button to make the elevator go up and down. So that's kind of cool. And here, I think our la is a ladder that goes up for the guards here. And I like that. That That's cool. I think that's... But the problem is that there's no opening. So it's like walking into solidness. Yeah, you'd have to have the car... Um, slid over what we normally do see here I think that this is like copper wiring and stuff and it's pretty cool paint now what we like to do is put can you hold the camera a second Actually, why don't you do that and I'll hold the camera um, what we like to do is put the bareness and this chair that we got from a totally, well, it's still G.I. Joe, but a different set. And, oops. Thanks, Baroness. Yeah, thanks, Destro Baroness, for falling down on this. It really helps us. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, I like to put them there so that it looks like they're actually overseeing all the people working. Here you can see is another platform that does disconnect. I have a little piece of tape here. I accidentally ripped a little bit of it. So when you're putting this together, be extremely careful. I just put a little piece of tape here. Um, this platform, once again, like a lot of these other things, 
the back part and this part are needed to be connected. But if I went to rip it, you could put this and that in a totally different place. So you want to talk about the computer? All right. So there's these, like, I think of them as almost control buttons, but they're not. They're, I think they're just like computer chips that are under there to keep this stable, right? Might be. Um, and then there's a weird platform right there, which I would think is the weirdest spot to put a platform because when this thing comes down, they're not going to be alive. Yeah, why don't you, here, take a, take a figure and stand it there. And they barely fit. And you have to do a little bit of extra. They'd stand better without the figure stand. But, yeah, if that came down, it'd crush her. So, um, I'm not sure why that's really there. And you can't move, well, you can kind of move the missile. If there's a figure there, you can kind of move it, but... I don't know why they put a platform there. It's kind of a weird place to put it. This here, I think is one of two things. I think one, either people are standing and able to control the, the missile with this platform and people are just kind of standing there guarding it. I'm not 100% sure but I like Venom Lily's idea that, oh, well, no, oh, shoot, that this girl, or whoever you want to use, is controlling the up and down of the missile. Because I think when you, if you um, have this here, I think those people are working on the inside of the missile. Like, if you, oh, I'm sorry. If you had it here and had figures, and the train was, or the car was down a little bit, you could have them working on the missile or have it higher. And I think this person's controlling the missile from down here, controlling the, the up and down of this. It's up to your imagination and kind of what you want to do. And it could also just be a guard post where you could just have, um. And actually, the button, we were talking about the button over here just a little bit ago. I think that opens that door, the yellowish door. I think that this red button opens this door. Oh, that that's a good idea. I didn't think of that. So, um, it could be a guard post. It could be a control panel. Could we, be both. Could be both. So, we haven't quite decided. And she doesn't want to stand. So, there we go. Here is the instruction sheet. This gives you a nice look at the things that you're getting from here. You got the removable missile, the seats, the elevator, the platform, control panel. It gives you instructions here on how to do it. I had a heck of a time doing this. Uh, if you saw my video on how I put it um, together, you'll you'll see how uh, uh, how hard of a time I had uh, doing this. I did it by myself, and I had a really hard time. I'm not very coordinated either. That doesn't help me any. So there we go. There's the, the instructions sheet. Now, the original 1982 instruction sheet is really hard to find. Uh, people who had this must have either thrown it away or just got lost easily because that's a very expensive piece all by itself. She's going to show you a little bit about the, the uh, file card holder that you got. Okay, so it's simple put together. See, it's just this, and then it kind of flattens into this one piece. Yep. That. And then easily fold it up, put in. You'd see that in our put putting together video. Easy.
And, and here are a handful of file cards. Do the little bit bigger ones. They just, if they like me, they will go in. <laughs> Maybe you'll have to put them individually in or so. Okay, well. So there you go. This is a pretty full, this is pretty full and you can see uh, there's quite a few file cards in here. And we even put um, the file cards that Ed Hillman makes. They're a little bit smaller. So when they go in, sometimes we have to struggle to get them out. Yeah, but there you go. See, and they fit in there real nicely if you have all the bigger ones in front of it so that they don't slip down. And on the top, it looks like on the top, it looks like the um, the figure um, cards. This looks like what would have been on the side of all the all the figures. So this is my poster that kind of looks like the other ones on that box. It's of Baroness. I got it at JoeCon. Got it at JoeCon in that art See, style. Looks like the. The art style, yes, she's very right. The art style looks very much uh, like the posters and stuff that you got. Very cool. On the missile itself, as you can see, there is this screw, and on the back, well, there is this. Can you lift that? Here, hold the camera. This white peg here and this screw is what holds this together. And it takes a lot of pressure. I had to turn this really hard. Well, not hard, hard, but I had to turn it pretty hard to get this to do this, to even hold it. And it's got these, and it's gonna be really difficult to see on camera. But this white little washer. Wait, here, I can put it behind. Here, I use. I don't know if they'll be able to see it better. I on a white there. There you go, yeah. So see, it's got a little washer that it's put on. And you put it onto the, with a screw, and then you put the peg on the back. Wait. Thank you. And it goes right there. It's very difficult. <laughs> Just the, the there we go with the lighting. That's what gives it its friction to go up and down. Now the elevator car. I'm gonna put the put the missile all the way up, and you can slide that. I don't have. I don't think I have mine on very well because it doesn't like to slide very much, but on the back here, there's two things and then it, it's supposed to slide on this rail. And I, for some reason, I am having uh, a lot of trouble with this. See how it slides here. And I'll show you from what it actually looks like when you're doing it the front here so you can get it and it's supposed to slide up and down um, I have trouble putting vintage figures in they just must be just a hair wider but you can fit if you do it right you can usually fit four figures so I'm gonna put Baroness there Obi-Wan, a SWAT team. By the way, a bad guy SWAT team, not a good guy. Yeah, the bad guys, the Iron Grenadier SWAT team. And then our own creation that we made at Jokon. Now, what you're supposed to be able to do is set it like this. And the people are supposed to be like 
working on the missile and it's supposed to be inspecting able to inspect again making sure it's working so we'll put that all the way up and we'll see if we can get this to work and see oh, look, we're lucky. <laughs> Tilt it back for me, so yeah. So that um, oh, that's not really helping any. I thought that that would maybe help. Okay, anyway, it's supposed to slide over, but like I said, I have lots of trouble moving it. I might have to redo the connection on the back because here's what it looks like missile down on the back is the my base also leans oh, really oh I see what happened to it look at the difference in them yeah see I got the screw so I'm gonna have to redo this I see it. it's rubbing too hard against this so it can't get past yep so what I think I'm gonna have to do is do like something like that stick it out um, it's maybe a little better. Let's see. You also have to get the missile out of the way to get it down to, uh, get it past it. That definitely helped. A little bit? Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, I see what's happening to it. It's all bendy. Yeah. Yeah, it hates me too. So that's that's that part. Um, if I'd have probably done it right, it probably would work a whole heck of a lot better. I, like I said, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. I do try, and uh, I do have to say, of the base, even though she doesn't overly like that it's cardboard, cardboard. I really like this thing. I, wish I think plastic. Plastic would have been better, but. The other really nice thing is, is you can load this up with figures, and I you can. Load the plastic set up with figures. Yes, you could. Probably even better, but this toy you can put lots and lots of figures on it, and buy it, and it just makes for a really cool display. We had it looking really good a little while ago. We'll be going back to that, maybe not that exact way we had it, but. Trying to go back to another thing and uh, making it look like a whole army is really working on the base. So, Well, that's our review. Thank you for watching. This was fun for me. What do you, what do you think of the base? I don't like cardboard bases, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. She doesn't like cardboard bases, but that's all right. I like it. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.